Hello everyone. In this lecture today, I'm going to talk to you about Cree Locks system. So, what is Cree Locks system? Cree Locks system is a technology that can be used to induce site specific recombination events. Okay. If you have a look at this word, Cree Locks, it consists of two words. One is Cree and the other is Locks which means that Cree log system consists of two components that are derived from P1 bacteriophage. One component is Cree recombinase and the other component is a LOXP recognition site. So what is the LOXP recognition site? LOXP recognition site is the site that is recognized by the enzyme Cree recombinase. So Cree recombinase is an enzyme. Originally, it has been named uh, causes recombination, but later on it has been named as cyclization recombinase. It is a 38 kilodalton protein that is responsible for intra and intermolecular recombination events at the LOXP recognition sites. So P1 bacteriophage naturally has these components and uses these components as a part of its own viral life cycle and researchers have adapted these components for use in genomic manipulation. As I explained earlier, uh, the LOXP is the site that is recognized by the Cree recombinase enzyme. This site is a 34 base pair long recognition sequence that consists of two 13 base pair long palindromic repeats. Okay, this is one repeat and this is another repeat and in between we have spacer sequence and this is an example of canonical log p site sequence okay so how the cree recombinase system work we have the enzyme that is called cree recombinase and this cree recombinase enzyme recognizes the log p site okay as shown by the triangle here and what happens is that cree recombinase excised uh, the gene or the DNA sequence that is floxed between these two LOXP sites or this, uh, the sequence that is present between two LOXP sites will be excised or cut by our Cree recombinase enzyme thereby leading to the inactivation of that particular gene which is present in between the two LOXP sites okay so now uh, moving further, so what is the general principle of Cree LOXP system? Why Cree LOXP system is widely used? Because it is a powerful tool uh, that can be uh, used for mammalian gene editing. The most important reason is that it, is, it involves very simple manipulation and Cree LOXP system do not require additional factors for efficient recombination. So these are the two reasons why this system has been widely used for mammalian gene editing. A single Cree recombinase recognizes two directly repeated LOXP sites. Okay, so this is one LOXP site, this is another LOXP site, and they are directly rep repeated and they are present on the same strand. Okay, so then what happens? Then Cree excises. Cree is the enzyme. So this enzyme excises the LOXP flanked or floxed DNA. So LOXP flanked, that means that the sequence that is present between the LOXP sites, so this side, this will be excised or cut by the Cree enzyme. Then what happens then? It creates two types of DNA with circular excised and inactivated gene Y. So here we have shown uh, gene Y in between two LOXP sites. Hence, finally, what we have got, gotten here that we have uh, the, uh, the excised gene Y in the form of circular DNA and, and thereby leading to the inactivation of this particular uh, uh, gene. Okay, so while the Cree LOXP system is pre predominantly used in genetic excision, uh, it also includes the inversion and translocation of DNA uh, between two LOXP sites and that actually depends on the orientation and location of LOXP sites, okay? So orientation and location of LOXP sites determines uh, the other uh, type of recombination events 
such as translocation, inversion. Okay, so that I'm going to explain now. So basically, how does lock space system work? So one is inversion. Inversion is that if the lock speed sites, okay, if the lock speed sites, they are present on the same strand and are in the opposite direction, okay, this is lock speed side one, this is lock speed another lock speed site, they are present on the same strand and uh, they are in opposite orientation. So basically, this site is facing this, another lock speed site, they are in opposite orientation. Uh, so in this case, recombination with Cree lock speed system, what it does it results in uh, in 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 an inversion so which means that the region of the dna between the lock p sites is reversed okay so if lock p sites are present on the same strand and they are in opposite orientation that results in inversion and thereby uh, leading to um, the reversed dna sequence or the gene sequence between the lock p sites so another type of another type of event is deletion. So when deletion occurs, if the if the two log p sites they are present on the same strands, and 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 the, the the sites are also in the same direction. Okay, they are not facing each other, but they are in the same direction. For example, direction for this side and this side, this is in the same direction. In that case. Uh, what happens is that the sequence between the log p sites, so this is the sequence between the log p sites, let's say this is gene X, so this gene X is actually excised, okay, this is excised as a circular DNA, okay, circular piece of DNA, uh, so, and thereby it is inactivated, okay, so deletion occurs when the log p sites are present in the same strand of DNA, and they are also um, facing the same direction. And third type of event is called translocation events. Translocation events, event occurs uh, if the lock p sites, okay, if the lock p sites, they are present on separate DNA molecule. This is one DNA molecule, this is another DNA molecule, and the lock p sites are present on a separate DNA molecule. In this case, what happens is that translocation occurs. As you can see that in the first we have gotten this red part and also in the second we have gotten this red part so which means that there is a translocation there is a translocation so transloc translocation occurs when uh, uh, the log p sites are present on a separate dna molecules okay so i hope this video was helpful thank you